Hello everyone and welcome to the Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun demo. And you're probably thinking, why are you playing the demo? Play the full game, you idiot. The reason why I'm playing the demo is because the previous Command and Conquer games usually had demos with missions from the final game, occasionally modified, but this game has a demo with completely new missions that won't reappear in the final game. So to get the full experience, we're going to check the demo out first. So here's the first mission. Commander, Intel has just intercepted not transmissions from this sector. We believe not is setting up a staging base to launch attacks on GDI forces. GDI command wants you to take them out. Using the unit provided, destroy all not units and structures in the sector. Good luck, Commander. So here we are in a nice 1080p resolution, which this game supports natively. And this game here is set 30 years after the original CNC. And I think I'm going to leave the backstory for the original, well, for the actual main game. But a little bit on the units, we're obviously playing GDI in their glorious gold. These are Titans. The Titan is basically your medium tank. These are Wolverines. The Wolverines are essentially the new Humvees. They are a light, fast anti infantry unit. The Titans have better range, better armor and uh, more suited against heavy targets. And these are cyborgs, so these not cyborgs are, what the name says, a mix between human and machine. And they are pretty annoying. As you could see, they before they die, they turn into a cyborg without legs. And they can recover when they are on Tiberium. They will never recover their legs, but generally when when these cyborgs walk on Tiberium, they will recover their health because they are Tiberium based life forms. So these are disc throwers, basically our new grenadiers. And that was a knot cycle. These are elite units, we have promotions now. And this is probably a healing crate. Yep, so everybody's healed, that's always good to know. And here we go. The infantry is a little bit more useful in this game, in my opinion, because there are comparably few units that can actually crush infantry. Titans can, but not has, apart from units like the MCV and the Ore Harvester, which you, sorry, I mean Tiberium Harvester, which you don't really want to use at the front lines all the time. I think they only have a single unit that's actually suitable for crushing infantry, and that's their main tank. Yeah, these are Orca transports, and you can't. You can't build those. These are hover tanks. They are fast and they shoot rockets. They can attack air targets. And they can hover across water because they are hover tanks. But they are pretty fragile, so watch out for that. One reason why the cyborgs are so annoying is because they are good against everything with regard to defense. Even an obelisk of light needs two hits to kill a cyborg. So, and an obelisk of light only needs a single hit to destroy, let's say, these hover tanks here. That what makes them so annoying. So more hover tanks. That was a tick tank. The not tick tank can dig itself in and basically become a turret you can deploy in the field. The tick tank is not basic tank. And it's actually quite useful. It's pretty sturdy. It's not too fast, but it can deploy itself and a group of deployed tick tanks is pretty difficult to take out. Yeah, this is worth, as I said, they're basically the new grenadiers. We have another another cyborg. And look how much firepower that guy needed from, from this group alone here. And as you can see the environment, it's not a it's not very green anymore because Tiberium is eating through the planet. And it's one of GDI's goals is to stop Tiberium, not just to beat Nod, but to stop Tiberium. These are ammunition boxes, ammo crates, so they aren't really all that useful to be honest because they are the new exploding barrels but they don't really explode all that violently so they are a little bit disappointing. So, And those are rocket guys. Rocket guys are back, only not has rocket guys now. And there are not cycles, wherever those guys were hiding. But it doesn't really matter, I'm stronger than not so and oh, I guess could have could have gone over there 
So this and not base is the usual stuff. We've got the hand of not, which is now now looks more creepy. And we have here the arms factory, no more airfield. Basically not is is now a superpower together with GDI. And they don't really rely on arms merchants or arms dealers anymore. They have their own stuff. So I can destroy this bridge here. And that's one one trade of the discs. They actually hop across the ground. Bam, there goes the bridge. This is the tech center. And here we have a radar station. And these are that was the radar station. And the the Egyptian sounding tune in the background is Ferrotech from Frank Klepaki. Yeah, Frank Klepaki once again provides the soundtrack for this game. And once again it's excellent. It's a little less upbeat. It's more ambient and a little bit more, a little bit more moody, but that's mainly because this game is a little bit more moody. So the world's not in great shape. Let's destroy the red lampposts, and they, and they reflect that in the soundtrack, which is a good choice. Anyway, let's blow up this building here, mission and mission accomplished. So we get our rating here: forty-five percent efficiency. I'm never quite sure how the efficiency is calculated, so don't ask me for details here. Not lost a lot more stuff than we lost. And I'm actually better than I was, 1% better than I was during my test playthrough. And yeah, here we go. I only needed slightly over 5 minutes. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time during the next demo mission.